are now in the final phase of the VA246 launch campaign, which started about a month and a half ago. Geocomsat 2A arrived at the Felix Ebué Airport on Saturday the 20th of October in an Antonov aircraft. The satellite and its equipment were transported to the S5C facilities the same day. In the S5C, the satellite was unpacked and installed in the clean room, after which it was subjected to an extensive electrical checkout. Also, the propulsion system was carefully verified before the starting of the fueling preparations. A fit check was performed during this preparatory phase in order to verify the interfaces between the satellite and the launcher elements. As the satellite embarks a very sensitive payload, a nitrogen purge system has been implemented, which allows to keep the camera extremely clean up till launch. On the 10th of November, the GeocomSat satellite was transferred to the fueling hall and the actual fueling with the bipropellants MON and MMH was performed between the 13th and the 16th of November. GSAT-11 on its turn arrived on Friday the 26th of October at the airport of Cayenne, also in an Antonov aircraft. The transport of the satellite to the S5C facilities was performed immediately after. The unpacking of the spacecraft and the transfer to the clean room was performed soon after that. GSAT-11 satellite was subjected to a series of electrical tests and the propulsion system was checked out thoroughly. On the 7th of November, the GSAT-11 spacecraft was transferred to the S5B fueling hall. The fueling with MON and MMH took place between the 10th and the 14th of November. The launcher integration activities were performed by first by the unloading and the verticalization of the main cryogenic stage in the launcher integration building, followed by the arrival of the two strap-on boosters and the upper cryogenic stage with its avionic bay. After 17 days of mechanical assembly, avionic and fluidix control, the launcher was ready on November 15th to roll out to the final assembly building, also called BAF, for 12-day final preparation phase. The combined operation started on Saturday the 17th of November with the integration of GSAT-11 on its flight adapter. After that, the satellite was transferred to the final assembly building in the CCO3 container. The upper satellite was integrated onto the SILDA structure soon after that. GeoComSat 2A on its turn was integrated to the flight adapter on Wednesday the 21st of November and was transferred to the final assembly building the day after in the CCO2 container. The Korean satellite GeoComSat 2A and the Indian satellite GSAT-11 were mated on the launcher on November 22nd and 23rd. The Launch Readiness Review Board authorized starting the countdown. First major step of the final chronology will be the launcher rollout to the launch pad. Rollout activity started early this morning at 6 a.m. Kuru time. The launch table is pulled on rail tracks to the launch pad, and two hours later, the table will be in its final position for D0. Tonight, the launcher and the launch pad will be ready for the last Island 5 launch of the year.